clerk will now read a written object written objections of the mayor mayor Padman, ordinance 1209 amended and a letter dated september 24 2012 to the fairview park city council members from mayor eileen Patton regarding ordinance 1209 amended on monday september 19 2012 fairview park city council passed ordinance 1209 amended with a five to two vote for Article 3, Section 5B of the Charter, the City of Fairview Park, I am exercising my legislative power in vetoing this ordinance which is attached. My injection, objections to the ordinance are as follows. Number one, Ordinance 1209 is unnecessary as the City has utilized without issue the current bidding procedures established by the Charter, ordinances, and state law, including the Board of Control established by Charter in 1969. Two. Ordinance 1209 adds layers of requirements upon potential bidders without any evidence of the necessity of those requirements or that they are the solution to any specific issues in the city of Fairview Park. Three, there is a potential of increased cost to the city in the implementation of Ordinance 1209 through a possible reduction in the pool of potential bidders or disputes that may arise as a result of implementation of the ordinance. It will be an unfortunate circumstance should the city find itself in dispute that causes the city to incur additional unnecessary expenses as a result of this ordinance. Four, the current requirements along with federal law, state law, and city ordinances provide a specific framework and the necessary flexibility to evaluate any and all factors important to determine a bidder's responsibility. Five, ordinance 1209 is, a predica is predicated on statements of necessity that are simply untrue and in inapplicable to this community. Signed by the name Ann Patton, Mayor. Thank you. All right, my code, we, we are uh, this council bound to reconsider. This, uh, the chair will now entertain a motion to override the mayor's veto and approve ordinance 1209 amended as passed by council. So moved. I have a second. Second. <coughs> Is there any discussion? Hearing none, the clerk please call the roll on the motion to override the mayor's veto. Mr. McDonough. I'm sorry, it's a, the, the question is, is to over, does council want to override the mayor's meeting? Are we having any discussion on that? Or not? I just asked him that I'll call for the role, so let me vote now. He's good, all right. Are we on at this point, there's a roll. There's a there's a motion on the floor. Uh, on motion, no. Mr. Minnick. No. Mr. Wojnar. Yes. Mr. Cobain. Yes. Mr. Hinkle. No. Mr. Mattia. No. Ms. Clear. Yes. Okay, we needed a uh, majority to super majority, a uh, majority plus one to override the mayor's veto and. In that, so the veto stands. <laughs> okay, we now have reports from the mayor, directors, and other city officials. Mayor Patton. Thank you, Council President Cobain. And I appreciate um, the involvement of our citizens on this issue i applaud each and every one of you this is the first time in my 13 years where residents became involved in what's happening in our city and i appreciate uh, the comments and the many many emails i received on this issue and my job as, you, as your mayor is to make sure that we spend our tax dollars exactly the way we need to spend them so again i appreciate everyone that came up over the past three weeks and supported this issue. Now, I'm... Thank you. 